Hey guys, Arlisha here and welcome to this week's video. Today we're just going to chill and relax and hang out for a bit while I paint this small gouache portrait. This is the last in a series of three portraits, all using the same color palette, and I painted all three of these for October's Patreon rewards. I do three original paintings for Patreon every month, and it's a pretty limited tier. I'd like to be able to do more of them at some point in the future, but for now, um, three is working really well, and it's been really nice getting to send these out every month, these little originals, and it's, it's so fun, and it feels really special to come up with a little bit of a theme for the the three portraits. Usually I do watercolors. This is the first time I have done these in gouache and it kind of just opens up a whole little world of how I might vary these portraits in the future. I'm thinking about, you know, maybe doing little ones on that folding Arteza watercolor paper that I have and maybe doing acrylic ones and things like that. So it's been a lot of fun to think about how I want three pieces to kind of connect with each other and go together. The sketch was pretty scratchy for this one. I've, I've noticed that especially when I'm painting with gouache, I don't rely too heavily on a sketch. I usually want it to be more about um, guidelines than anything else. My sketches for gouache paintings are usually pretty loose and pretty rough because I do a lot of the work opaquely, so um, the sketch just doesn't matter as much except for just establishing the landmarks and the overall um, layout and composition of the final piece. One thing that I was doing with this trio of paintings, you'll see them all three together at the very end of this video, was I was laying down a layer of opera pink for the background of all three of these, and I thought it would be fun to have a more saturated color for the background and then to lay more muted tones on top. Each of the three, I varied the palette just slightly, and this one started with the most natural tones for sure. I started by kind of establishing anchor points as far as values go. I started working in shadow tones and mid-tones, so tones that would be on the darker side when I was all finished. I find that's really helpful with gouache as well because oftentimes one of my biggest struggles with gouache is that the color dries darker than what it looks like when it's wet or when it's on your palette. So by starting with those mid-tones and shadow tones, it just makes that process a little bit less stressful because I want those colors to get a little bit darker. So instead of starting with colors that I want to be light and then being frustrated, I'm able to start with colors I know are going to be darker, and then I can make my lighter tones much lighter and build from there. And that's been really helpful when working with this particular type of paint. All of these three paintings are also pretty quick for me. I think I spent only about a half an hour on each of them. This one might have only been like 25 minutes of actual painting time and then, you know, five minutes for the sketch maybe. So right around that half an hour mark. It's pretty loose, not very tight and very structured. And that's been a lot of fun for me lately. That sort of thing works really nicely for YouTube content and Patreon rewards, but I'm definitely really missing buckling down and spending a couple of hours on a painting, which I know for a painting still isn't very long, but I'm missing those bigger, more thought out pieces, you know? So hopefully I'll be able to get back into that stuff soon. We've got a lot of stuff going on personally here. Mostly it's really good stuff for my family, and hopefully I'll be able to share that with you guys soon. But we've just been um, busy and stressed in a good way, if that makes sense. Like there's just so much to think about right now. And to be honest, it's nice to have some forward, like, looking ahead thinking to do with everything that's been going on in the world lately. It's nice to have something to really um, look forward to and to positively devote brain power to, you know, and something, things that I'm excited about for myself and for my family. It's just nice to to have those things. With this portrait, I knew I wanted to use 
a wide range of colors. So I wanted there to be bits of everything. So bits of green and purple and red and orange and brown and yellow. And the way that you achieve that when, when working with a relatively limited palette is by keeping the colors way less saturated. So if my colors were too saturated, if all of these colors were, you know, very vibrant and bright, they wouldn't work as well together. But by mixing bits of each color into the others, it keeps the saturation lower and allows the palette to be more harmonious. I feel like that's the kind of thing that I've said a billion times by this point, but it's really important for me and is definitely a key factor in painting with lots of different colors. I would love to know at the end of the video when I show all three of the paintings I did for Patreon, when I show those all together, you'll have to let me know which one is your favorite. It's hard for me to say I like them all for different reasons, and I'm also in one of those times where I dislike them all for various reasons, but they are good experiments, and I learned something from all of them, and it was so refreshing for me to get my gouache out. Like when I was setting up my, my paints, like I got the box out and was picking out colors and was putting the paint on the palette. It was like this reminder that like, oh wait, I like really enjoy this process and I really enjoy setting up and working on things. I've been spending so much time on other stuff lately and it was just so nice to just sit and relax and paint for a little while. I like how that pink peeks through in this one. It peeks through differently in each of the paintings that I did, and I like that they are all different from each other in that way. I feel like the time has gone by so fast today. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this painting down below. And I'm so grateful to you guys for being here with me. As always, the biggest and most sincere thank you to my members here on YouTube who get special shout outs at the end of videos as well as custom badges for comments and emojis for live videos. And also thank you to my patrons. I send out special art goodies, digital and physical every month. So you can check out um, either of those platforms if you would like to support this channel further. Here's a look at all three of those paintings side by side. And I'm happy with them as a trio. It's gonna be random as far as who gets which painting, depending on you know who's at that original painting tier over on Patreon. So um Oh boy, it's going to be fun to ship those out next month. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend or week or day or night or whatever time it is for you. Okay, I'll talk to you all next time. Bye bye.